Welcome back to my channel. So you know what it is. Today is Monday, so it's time for gas me up Monday. So of course we got the three piles here per usual. We got pile number one with the orange highlighter, pile number two with the yellow highlighter, and pile number three with the pink highlighter. So you wanna close your eyes, meditate for a few seconds, and pick whichever pile or piles, if it's more than one, that calls out to you. And I will see you guys at your reading. So what gas do you need this week? Let's see. Y'all, I'm literally filming this like... Hey, pal number one, if you chose the orange highlighter, welcome to your reading. So first, you already know we have the three channel songs for you this week. So you, these songs might hold an important message for you. Or maybe you guys already like and listen to these songs. So let's see what you got. You got Upgrade You by Beyonce and Jay-Z. Freak em Dressed by Beyonce and Heat by Chris Brown. Okay, so let's get into the cards. I got the Romance Angel deck finally. So we don't get a, a love message before we get into the pile. So you guys' the love message for the week is Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So some of you guys could have literally just met somebody new. And um, you're about to start getting to know each other. Or this could be like you just being locked away. And since we inside, you being like locked up with your spouse or your other half or your significant other. You know whatever you want to call it and this is just about you know in spending quality time with somebody that you love all right so let's get into the cards let's see what gas y'all need for this week we're gonna see what messages come out so first we got recognition and reward okay so some of you guys will be recognized for something i'm hearing that if you are a creative and like you keep creating you really push yourself this week you can produce something that is you know extremely great and wonderful and eye-catching and you will probably be getting some type of recognition and reward so for some of you that are business owners maybe you put like a marketing pub out there that just gains a lot of attention and then you end up making more sales so you know anything like that so just continue to work this week because there is recognition and reward in the cards okay so next we got spiritual union okay hold on let me find out so some of you guys with this honeymoon card here some of you guys will be meeting somebody new soon and you know it'll be this whole you know honeymoon <laughs> this whole honeymoon stage that you about to walk into so that is beautiful that is wonderful i'm also hearing that this is spiritual union within yourself you know since you have been practicing self more self-love and um i'm feeling like putting more effort and um more effort and energy into your dreams which is why this recognition and reward is coming and now since you are on your purpose and you're doing what you're you've been called to do this spiritual union that you've probably been manifesting can come into your life so that is beautiful y'all congratulations keep working keep being creative okay your time is coming the recognition and reward that you deserve is coming soon so you know just continue to put your energy into your dreams and all your desires will be attracted to you okay so we got fertility so y'all something is definitely growing okay this spiritual union is growing and also you are growing so continue like i said just put more work in be better than you were yesterday every day okay so yeah you are doing the right thing you are making moves to grow and just add more to you look financial and material changes yeah some of y'all about to you know really kick it up into action and with upgrade you like some of you guys like definitely could be meeting somebody like maybe like a business partner that your next relationship will be with you know you know Jay-Z and Beyonce so so um yeah I am seeing that you know the more you work on your craft and the more you put energy into your business or whatever you look whatever you have going on the more you'll grow and the more you attract the spiritual union and the more you attract these financial and material changes that you have been trying to make okay so just keep going and do not give up it is positive things on the way and we have shadow but it is in reverse okay so I feel like some of you guys may have just recently went through an ego death or you are about to go through one I feel like this may be like it, like Take it how it resonates, y'all. It could be literally some of y'all getting over it or what some of y'all about to enter into it. But this is just to help you, okay? You're, we're meant to face shadow parts of ourselves and the shadow aspects so that we can heal them and overcome them, okay? So this is nothing to worry about. 
some of you guys just might be um, going through some lessons that you need to learn at this time this week okay but just know that these lessons will yield positive results you're getting spiritual union and financial and material gain so you know just keep growing and keep you know like I said continuing to be better than you were you know yesterday than last week you know last year so you know y'all get in there you just got to keep going and not give up we got peace so yeah this is about finding peace i'm feeling like since this is right under recognition and reward maybe you have just been working for something or working towards something for such a long time and like you might not be seeing the results that you want to see at this time but this is just say find peace in where you are okay find peace and you know fall in love with the journey more so than the the whole actual result okay F fall in love with becoming the person who you are meant to be and just taking it day by day okay Next we got milk and honey under right under spiritual union. Okay, yeah. So y'all have like y'all went within, y'all heal. Okay, now y'all about to get all the milk and honey for all your hard work. So for this pal, all the work that you have been doing is about to be rewarded like very, very, very soon. So keep going, keep working towards your milk and honey. You know, your happy ending. Well, your happy beginning shoot. Like this is about to be like a really a new chapter for y'all. I feel like a chapter that you guys have been manifesting and waiting on for so long. So you got the recognition reward the spiritual union and you have the prosperity and the material gains that you want all because you were brave enough to find peace within yourself and to face your shadow aspect so you know like I said just keep going keep healing good things are on the way you just have to have peace in them arriving okay just know you put the manifestations out there and know that they're going to come back to you okay we got a leg up also with fertility so some of you guys literally are leveling up going to that next level in your life whether that just be working harder or just like a next phase in love even so you know keep going there's probably help going to be on the way for some of you guys some somebody might come into you guys life which is probably like the spiritual union here and you know help you out and add more than um add more to your life okay i feel like the person you are attracting into your life will definitely add some type of value okay and like if you were in connections before where you may have felt like it was one-sided or it was just one person given just know that this next relationship is definitely going to be um equal equal i feel like especially with beyonce and jay-z i feel like they are equals so you know you are attracting uh like uh, you're equal that is wonderful okay somebody that can add raise your vibration we got by the book so i'm feeling like um Feeling like this is a to just talking about especially with it being under financial and material changes i'm feeling like don't this is not the time to take shortcuts okay if you want something in your life you know take the time out to do it right okay not saying be traditional but not if you don't want to be traditional but you know it's okay to um you know take your time everything doesn't have to be such in a rush okay and i'm feeling like that's within love and within business like i said fall in love with the journey the process more than like the actual end result so you're not so fixated on it okay so we got your commitment is being tested shadow okay so this is what this is y'all some of you guys will have some tests this week okay some tests that will force you to face your shadow side and force you to see if you are truly committed to the vision and the manifestations that you put out there are you really committed to your intentions okay so just watch out for tests this week okay um this we should be acting like the people who should receive our blessings okay so you know if this is about love for you, maybe you're going to face a shadow aspect within love. So if somebody come talking to you again, if one of your exes come out the woodwork or anybody that you just know should not be on your path, like that is a test of your commitment to see if you'll, you know, settle basically. So just know that you'll be facing some shadow aspect of yourself and it'll be a test that you'll have to pass to get to this next level okay maybe that's what it is to manifest this spiritual union this spiritual union you're gonna get tested one more time okay and <laughs> um like by that test um the universe will see if you actually ready for what you say you're ready for okay so we got we got beauty okay so this is either you admiring somebody else's beauty or somebody secretly admiring yours so just know this week you know i know we can't go out sad y'all i know we on lockdown but you know it's okay to pamper yourself and practice self-love in the house you know do your own hair do your own nails and do whatever you gotta do so i'm just taking this as you know really admire your beauty inner and outer this week okay we got focus so it's time to get focused on what you want what you want do you want what you say you want or are you playing are you playing 
<laughs> and with this being on spiritual union, uh, with focus being over spiritual union and fertility, I'm feeling like this shadow aspect and this your commitment is being tested is definitely about you attracting this spiritual union. The test will definitely be in love. So it's like if you focus and if you just only you know focus on what you say you want which is which is for most of y'all this relationship this spiritual union okay it is time to you know grow within that area and you know gain strength maybe you'll um maybe something will be put along your path to tempt you or something like this in the universe to see if you'll be focused and dedicated towards your vision of love okay so just know y'all <laughs> when we fail test by the universe the universe um literally makes us repeat it so <laughs> Some of y'all know what y'all want, so this is not the week to settle for less, okay? Just because you've been waiting for a long time does not mean you settle, okay? We got high, well, priestess. So how are you being called to step up and lead? So your um, financial um, and material changes um, lie within you going after what you really want and being the leader of your own life, okay? So what are you being called to do? What is your soul mission? It is time to step into it now, and it is time to live out your purpose and your calling, okay? We got beloved ones, so right over spiritual union. So definitely, like for a lot of y'all, this is a, um, a union that is being orchestrated by the divine. And the um, card says, "I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate union." So just know that your union is protected at all times, and your angels are watching over it and, and orchestrating it and making sure that it works out for the best. Okay. We got gifts from God. Okay, this pal, y'all popping. Okay, so we got. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. So yes, y'all, this is like basically a turning point week for some of y'all. Some of y'all are really about to step, snap into action and snap into doing what you were being called to do, okay? And as soon as you get into doing the things that you know you need to do, what you've been called to do, then all your desires will be attracted to you, okay? So keep going. Like, no, this is the week to turn it all the way up. Okay, y'all got to turn it all the way up. It's time to get down. It's time to get cracking and time to get focused because, like I said, as soon as you do that, as soon as you put your mind towards what you're being called to do, everything will magically unfold and fall into place. So just trust and believe. Okay. We get water, mama, mama culture. She was in reverse though. So some of you guys may be avoiding some emotions or may need to release some emotions. I'm getting with water here. Or maybe there's something in your subconscious mind that is blocking you from this abundance that you are about to attract in your life. And so, you know, just take the time this week to go and, you know, see what you maybe haven't healed from. Maybe it's something that you thought you healed that you didn't is about to come around to test you for the last time. So guys, make sure you are healing. Make sure you are doing the inner work and acknowledging, um, Acknowledging not only your growth, but where you where you have to grow as well. Okay, so we get three of wands. It's in reverse, and we have temperance. So yeah, some of you guys are definitely avoiding healing, taking action, healing something. Okay, so this week, figure out what it is that you may haven't healed all the way from, and heal that. So when this love does come into your life, it is able to stay and it is able to remain healthy because you would have dealt with and healed the things that you needed to heal before you got into your next relationship. Okay. So next we got get more information and we got ask your angels. So I'm just taking this as you guys ask for signs. If you need help this week or at any point, ask your angels for signs and they will give you signs. Okay. So if you want to know if you're supposed to do something, how you're supposed to do something, just say, you know, hey, you know, angel spirit teams, God, universe, you know, look out. Can I get some signs about this or can I get some signs about that? And the signs will show up. But you just have to make sure you're following them, okay? Don't ask for signs and don't follow the directions. <laughs> so just make sure you're ready and, you know, be comfortable with asking your spirit team because they are here to help you. Okay? So next we get, we got Toxic in reverse. We got EXO. Hold on, what's going on? We got Super Bass. So some of y'all need air sign friends with benefits some of y'all need to release somebody in your life in order for this new spiritual union to come in i feel like some of you guys need to release or have been trying to release okay and as soon as you release what isn't meant to be in your life you give space for the things that are meant to be in your life to come in okay so yeah 
some of y'all need to and i feel like this about love so maybe some of y'all are in the connection or you've been in the connection and you need to that's what you need to forgive that's the emotions that you're avoiding before this new person comes into your life this could have even just been a past connection y'all this could most likely be the air sign but that's what it is y'all i feel like you've already separated from this connection or just made the effort to separate from them but it's with this water being in reverse I'm feeling like there's still like a few bit of emotions that you need to release before you can get this spiritual union. So that's going to resonate with a few of y'all. But just know that, yeah, you know, that's it's a few more things to be healed. And like this could have even been like years and years ago. And you don't even, you, you know, you, you kind of swept it under the work and maybe didn't think that you needed to heal from it. But it's just something there that you guys need to heal. And maybe that could be a sign that you ask for. That can be what you get information. So ask your angels like, what have I, what haven't I still healed? Oh my God, how do I say it? <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. What haven't I healed from? Okay, what are my last lessons to learn before this love comes into my life? Okay, so this is just about releasing what's not toxic for you. I mean, not releasing what is toxic to you, releasing, you know, toxic mindsets, beliefs, or any negative feelings that you have towards love. Okay, and then last we got the Empress. Okay, we got time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. Okay, so for some of y'all, I'm feeling like the Empress could be this spiritual with this spiritual union right but maybe in the past could it could have been way in the past could have been you know a year ago two years ago but take it how it resonates y'all it could have been an air sign that you guys were with and it was a toxic connection that you needed to let go okay so now this empress has come in take it how it resonates flip it around for the females watching this is the emperor okay coming in but you about to get this one last test of your shadow side before all this can manifest so literally y'all Everything y'all want is on the way. Y'all just got like a, 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 a test or two. That's probably going to happen this week that you got to pass. And this is just going to be a test of your commitment. Like, do you want the spiritual union you say you want? Act like it, okay? Do you want the recognition and reward that you say that you want? Act like it, okay? And also with that, like, don't do anything to, like, lose the opportunities of everything that you want to come into your life, okay? So... That's all I'm getting for y'all, pal number one. I hope y'all enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace. Hey, pal number two. If you chose the yellow highlighter, welcome to your reading. So, of course, you know, we got to have the three songs, the three gas me up songs. So these songs should just hold important messages for you. Or maybe you've been hearing these songs and this is a confirmation for you about something so with this dragonfly flying past i definitely feel like you guys have undergone some type of transformation or that you will be undergoing one this week okay so the songs we get is soul sister by Bilal. i think that's how you say it Bilal, Bilal. <laughs> we get single ladies by beyonce and love faces by trey songs okay so with this mix i'm feeling like some of you guys could be attracting a soulmate into your life okay you might be single right now but you know with soul sister and love faces i'm feeling like very well you guys could be tra attracting somebody that you know fits into your love life very well very soon so let's see your romance angel message we got let your friends help so ask and accept support from others okay so maybe um yeah literally y'all <laughs> some of y'all may need to let your friends help you or maybe you'll um You'll go somewhere. We're not going nowhere. We on lockdown. <laughs> well, maybe your friend will just introduce you to somebody, okay? And um, that certain somebody could be a soulmate. So be on the lookout for that this week. You never know how you meet people, y'all. You never know. So here we go. What messages do we have for y'all? We got material harvest. Okay, so y'all already coming off strong. Okay, y'all been working on y'all abundance. Y'all been working on y'all money. So keep doing that, okay? Your material harvest is coming in very soon, okay? Don't stop. Get it, get it, okay? <laughs> and make sure you guys continue to put in the work because you are attracting all the abundance that you desire, I see. Okay, we got foundation and achieve. Okay, y'all showing out this week. Y'all are showing out. We got foundation and achievement. So if this material your harvest has not started to manifest already just know that you have set up a stable foundation for it to manifest into your life so congratulations keep working keep building okay that stability that you are desiring that you're trying to attract into your life is coming okay dang near is here it's here if you say it's here so keep working and keep doing what you got to do okay we got power okay so yeah 
this week if you have not already you will be stepping into your power completely and fully you'll be laying all those bricks and you'll be literally getting to the work that you need to do some of you guys could have been procrastinating on laying the bricks that you need to lay but you know that is no longer you have stepped into your power and now you're about to receive your material reward. you're about to receive everything that you have been manifesting in the background provided you continue to do the work and you do not give up and you continue to you know build the most solid and stable foundation that you have been building thus far okay okay i see y'all we got throat chakra okay so some of y'all this week need to speak your truth or maybe you just want to work on your throat chakra some of you guys may want to be speakers or you could be a public speaker so i'm feeling like a certain number i mean multiple different scenarios i'm sorry y'all but this could be for some of y'all getting the power to speak your truth about something okay but I see that when you gain the power to speak this truth, there will be some type of material harvest, okay? Some, something will be built upon that. We got patience and planning. So this could be now or this could be coming up. You just planning more for, for your future, okay? Being play, patient with your plans and your goals and how you want things to play out in your life. So, you know, this is uh, just a sign that slow and steady wins the race, okay? So we got fulfillment of witches. Okay, y'all. Y'all been over here manifesting up some stuff because I'm seeing like everything, especially material-wise, that you are manifesting, whether that be more money, you know, just more like in the material world, you are about to get that fulfillment of wishes. As long as you continue to patiently plan and work on speaking your truth, your abundance will naturally attract into your life, okay? So just know there are some wishes on the way but in order to receive these wishes you must speak your truth or just be 100 percent authentic about something just some this pro shaka card is really sticking out to me like um it's just something that needs to be said or maybe something that even needs to be released for you to fully step into your power for you to get to the next level okay so we got poise okay so literally this is telling me that all you guys have to do is relax okay if you relax you attract you attract your desires okay you see they just poise they just stand on top of this statue got their hands up in the air they loving themselves she doing what she gotta do okay so literally just be in there and with this her hands up i'm just saying like be open to receive okay be open to receive the blessings from the universe because both of these people have their hands spread wide open ready to receive all that is good that is coming to them so you guys you know be on the lookout be open to getting blessings from where you didn't even expect them i feel like we get message in a bottle so with this message in the bottle and throw chakra i am seeing that some of you guys may want to send somebody a message and this is a sign to do so maybe this is a part of you getting into your power and speaking your truth i'm feeling like so maybe you've been patient patiently planning this and now the wish fulfillment is here so y'all take it how it resonates this could even be somebody about to send out a message to you we get all that glitters and power okay i'm seeing this as you know i'm seeing this as the, the, your manifestation i'm seeing this as everything that you want everything that you desire all that glitters everything that you all the intentions that you've been putting out there and everything that you have been wishing to attract so literally right with this being under power you see he half a line some of you guys could also be leos but you know be focused on the things that you want be focused on the prize and you know go after it and get it okay go after it get what you want get your wish fulfillment so for some of y'all um the angels have done the work that they needed to do in the background so now it's up for y'all to step into your power and then go out and get everything that you said you wanted okay it's give and take with the universe you get a universe and you put energy in a certain area then that's what you're going to get returned back to you so some some of y'all you know things have been set in place the foundation has literally been set for you now like literally it's your turn to go after what you want and get the things that you want to attract into your life it's all been set up y'all you good we got observer okay so some of you guys with observer here some of you guys could literally be observer patience planning throat chakra so this could be for some of y'all somebody could be observing y'all wanting to say something to y'all and send this message and this planning on how to do that or this could be y'all that have been observing um something or somebody and need to speak a truth and send a message so take it how it resonates but just know somebody has been patiently planning how to do something but you know as soon as that they take action that's when they will get their fulfillment of wishes all okay? right we got oh what did i just say y'all literally be bold and make the first move so yeah 
like I said, take it how it resonates. Some of y'all got somebody watching y'all that wants to speak your truth, seek their truth to you. Or if this is you that have been patiently planning and watching somebody, this is the sign that it's time to speak your truth, okay? And go after what you, the things that you want. So we got attraction but it's in reverse right under wish fulfillment so yeah some of you guys are not attracting your wishes right now because you aren't taking action towards them this is really calling you to step into your power like i like i literally said like i literally feel like the the universe they have set everything up for you to do you know go after what you want get what you want but now it's your time to take action to actually bring it full circle and bring it into your life and we got will yeah some of y'all not acting upon something that you want i feel like it's time to literally act y'all it's time to get into action it's time to be the lion it's time you know really gain that fire and go after the things that you want because you know with be be bold and make the first move and attraction right on the wish fulfillment like the foundation is set y'all all y'all have to do is go after the thing that you want and like you know add the things that you want to your life okay we got relationship harmony yeah, for some of y'all, this is about a person. A person that you need to speak a truth to that'll bring harmony into a relationship. And then we got indigo and crystal children. So for some of you guys, y'all, <laughs> some of you guys can literally be having kids soon or just have kids. And there's about to just be more stability in your home life overall, I'm feeling like okay this is good we got unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives okay hold on. <laughs> some of y'all could be releasing um things that don't serve you that's why okay so maybe a part of the reason why you aren't attracting your wish fulfillments is because there are still people or some things in your life that need to go before it can fully manifest before these things can fully manifest into your life so this week this is telling me you know make sure you guys let go of the things and have the power and the strength to you know get rid of and to, and to also add the things that will get you to where you want to be okay so i'm feeling like you guys been getting signs you've been observing you already know what needs to go and what needs to come into your life but you know this week is really time to step into your power and act okay nothing changes unless you make the change at this point we got truth yeah y'all what i say somebody need to speak their truth to somebody so yeah if this is you that need to speak your truth to somebody you need to like do it because you get all these like speaking cards so or if this could be the person that somebody is coming to speak their truth to you like i said take it how it resonates this person is working on doing that as well we got nine of pentacles okay abundance i see you and we got two of swords okay so y'all it's time to wake up it's time to take the mask off it's time to you know get out of the states of being uh, confused i'm feeling like for some of y'all this could even be confusion so this is literally it's time to grow <laughs> you see how she you know reaping her and you got material harvest look it's so like material harvest coming in but it's just something that y'all need to do or maybe something that y'all been procrastinating or, or avoiding doing with the her and this blindfold on and this is also the card of confusion and then will and attraction is something that y'all need to do that y'all are avoiding doing i'm feeling like and this is the week to you know manifest courage okay because with all these cards like it's kind of like this group like it's like all your manifestations are here for you but it's kind of like literally it's you making the next moves to get your manifestations, okay? So the universe is waiting on you. That's y'all message. Everything is set up, okay? Everything is can, can come to you when you allow it to. Get in that energy. We got the situation will improve. So any difficult situations will improve in perfect timing, okay? But this is also the perfect timing to get into action and get into attracting all the things that you want to see come into your life, okay? Speak your truth. Release the things that you want to release, you know? And just know that everything is all good, okay? Everything is improving day by day. We got friends. So maybe this is let your friends help you or some of you guys will be meeting a new friend. We got new love, okay? This could even be some of you guys meeting a new love or just maybe a new love will... I'm sorry. Maybe a friend will turn into new love, okay? We got beauty. Okay, what's going on? We got heartbreak and then we get growth okay so i'm feeling like I'm, I'm grouping these like this so 
so I feel like this was a heartbreak that has occurred okay and maybe that is maybe heartbreak is some uh, is subconsciously keeping you from the things that you desire okay and maybe you just experienced heartbreak before but that was needed in order for you to grow okay you can't have the strength without the lessons right so now this on the other hand I feel like this could be somebody thinking y'all beautiful or maybe you think somebody's beautiful. But I'm getting that maybe like a new friendship will turn into, like I said, and then didn't y'all got, didn't you get let your friends help? Yep. So maybe a friend could introduce you to somebody new. This could even be a new friend that turns into a new love. But it's definitely some attraction here within a connection or there will be some. Okay, so just know the foundation is set for you for love. And the foundation is set for you for material harvest. This could even, like, this is my model car, y'all. This could even be, be a model or somebody that likes to model. Okay. So some of y'all, yeah, y'all are most definitely attracting this new love, okay? And, you know, you have nothing to worry about. But the heartbreak, you grew from it, you learned from it, and, you know, that's all you can do, okay? So for the last card, we got four of Ariel. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change, extremes, and how you save or spend money. What I tell y'all, being resistant to change, that's literally y'all. So as soon as y'all allow the change to come into your life, okay, as soon as you start making the changes and the necessary adjustments, all that has been manifesting for you behind the scenes will come into your life. But it's not a second before, okay? You got to do the work first, and then the universe will deliver the blessings, okay? So... That's what I got for you, pile number two. If you enjoyed that reading, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, pile number three. If you chose the pink highlighter, welcome to your reading. So, of course, we got our three channel songs. So, let's see. These songs might hold in a very important message for you. Or you could just like these songs and be hearing these songs. So, we got Formation by Beyonce. I Hope You Dance by Leanne Warmack. And we got The Truth by India Irie. Okay, so some of you guys, you know... It's time to fully step up, fully go after your purpose and what you were meant to be here for, okay? It's time to start speaking your truth, okay? Falling in love with yourself and living life to the fullest, okay? Don't let anything hold you back. If it's on your path, it's on your path for a reason. So this is a week to believe in yourself and just go after all the things that you want to bring into your life, okay? This ugly shadow in here, y'all. Hold on. So we got a message from the romance angel. So let's get into love a little bit. Let's see what the T is we have. Very soon. Okay, so clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So this is letting me know that some of you guys, very soon you will be attracting the love that you desire. So, you know, manifest the love that you want. Write it down. You know, put the intention out there. And, you know, very soon the relationship that you desire could be coming into your life. So congratulations. Make sure y'all invite me to the wedding. I want to go. <laughs> but let's get into the cards. Let's see what's going on. We get base chakra okay so some of you guys will be building your foundation even stronger this year maybe this week i'm talking about this year well this year too but this week so maybe this is the time to you know really get secure within yourself really manifest the things that you want to see come into your life before this shows up since this is very soon okay so you know Make sure you're, all your basic needs are met and you're tending to yourself so that when you, this person comes into your life, uh, it is going to be, it remains healthy. Oh my God, it's a butterfly flying past, y'all. This is good luck. Is some of y'all about to have luck and love? Yes. We got deception and envy. So some, some people around you could be... <laughs> You guys, some people around you could be being deceptive or envious of you or this could be about to manifest because of this new love. But that's why you just need to make sure that your foundation is set so that nobody can come in and mess your stuff up, okay? That's the T. We got memories of love. Oh! This could have even been a past partner. This could have even been a past partner, y'all, that might be deceptive and envious of this new love coming into your life. Or... It could be that, or it could be you reuniting with the past partner, and people are about to be deceptive and envious of that, but you know, y'all got to take this how it resonates. But for some of y'all, well, most of y'all feeling like this is going to be very soon, like new love, and um, maybe your past partner or, or, or a past partner um, is going to be deceptive and envious. That's why you need to make sure the found, your foundation is stable, okay, so that nobody can come in and shake what you got going on up. We got mental conflict. Y'all, y'all got somebody in mental conflict. I feel like somebody from y'all past is in mental conflict about you. 
Ooh, child. Mm. Yeah, the gas see is y'all popping. Somebody feel like somebody feel like they messed up or they just going round and round in their heads. There's something going on, y'all. Something is going on, but very soon, y'all love life is gonna get spicy. Let's see what this about. Let's see what else is going on, y'all. We can't hold on. Let me find out y'all gases that y'all exes in distress. <laughs> Y'all, somebody is in distress. Y'all, up, uh, y'all. Okay, if you chose this pal, <laughs> if you chose this pal, somebody is in distress. Somebody is in mental chaos and conflict about something. I now take it how it resonates. If if this could be you, but I'm not feeling like this is you. I'm feeling like this is this is somebody like watching you or just. <laughs> I feel like this is an ex, y'all. I feel like this is an ex that's in. Yep, and a butterfly just flew past. Yeah, if y'all chose this pal, very soon y'all gonna be um secure and stable enough to attract this new love. And it's an ex that's watching y'all in chaos and conflict, deceptive and envious. Okay, being a little snake because they lost out, they missed out on the real one. Ooh, child, the ghetto. Ooh, the ghetto. Let's see what else we got. No place like home. So yeah, y'all. This is literally about y'all building y'all stability, either financial, you know, emotionally, spiritually. So build yourself up so when this love comes in, like I said, it can remain strong and healthy because you would have been working on and healing stuff that you needed to heal before you came into a relationship. But yeah, y'all. Oh child, somebody energy breathe and you got breathe in reverse. <laughs> y'all, this y'all, so y'all got somebody pissed off at y'all. Somebody is pissed off, sighing and breathing all heavy and just pissed off mad and mental conflict about you or about something that's going on. Hold on, let me find out y'all got somebody jealous or y'all about to have somebody jealous when this new love come in. What is going on? We got community. I'm here for everybody. <laughs> Hold on. Community memories of love. Maybe you guys were with somebody that was unfaithful and they was for everybody. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny, y'all. I'm trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be funny, but this could be an ex-partner that cheated on you. Or was, you know, doing stuff they wasn't supposed to be doing with the, in the streets. And now, you about to find this new love very soon. And they about to be in distress or they already in distress. I feel like this is somebody that's not in your life anymore. What is going on? We got a win-win outcome is a forecast, full moon, and Libra. So this could have been a Libra. You could be the Libra, or they could have this in a chart, or you could have this in a chart. But it's kind of like a, um, I'm feeling like if that was the situation I was talking about with somebody, you know, was just being deceptive and unfaithful and shit, <laughs> then you about to get your good karma for that in an, uh, a new love very soon. The skills are balancing now, basically. We got realization, chaos and cop. Yeah, this is okay. A lot of y'all, y'all ex is realizing that they fucked up, and that's that's why they in chaos and conflict, and they in distress, child. They they mad as hell, and trust me, when this new love come into your life, they gonna be even madder. This person is pissed off that you walked away from them. <laughs> This person, or or they could have walked away from you, right? And they come into a realization that you know they fucked up. They fucked up a good thing. Too bad, too sad. Yep, we got like literally ever since then you blossomed into this new person. You became a new person. I feel like yeah, for this pal, you was in a relationship that was holding you back or causing you some type of mental conflict. Or it was just something going on that wasn't right. And the skills are balancing out in your favor, and you're about to receive a new love. Okay, so congratulations. And it's a dragonfly pan flying past transformation. Y'all transformation, y'all blossoming, y'all growing, y'all coming into y'all power and y'all greatest version. Congratulations. We got counselors, so some of you guys could be counselor, or maybe this was somebody you even went to counseling with, I'm feeling like. Or maybe this was a situation that you just tried to resolve, and that's the realization you came to, like it just wasn't working. It was causing too much chaos, conflict, and, you know, mental, affecting your mental health too much, so you get out of the situation. Ooh, child, we got victory, yeah. I'm feeling like that's what happened. You guys were victorious in leaving a situation that was no longer good for you, I'm feeling like. And you hear all that wind, the wind of change is starting to blow and you're about to get your good karma, okay? You had the realization, the realization, you had the epiphany, and now, you know, you're on the, the good end. And now this person, this person up here is like pissed off and like getting their karma from it, I feel like. They got memories of love about you. Ooh, yeah. 
we got mirror who or what is triggering you okay so maybe this person um was meant to trigger something within you or meant to teach you lessons before you came into a union with this new relationship i'm feeling like and you are victorious and learning the things that you need to learn so now you are deserving of this this, this love that you will find very soon and we get potential yep potential right over victory okay i feel like you guys looked in the mirror and you discovered your true potential and you discovered that the situation was not serving you and you discovered that you deserve way better and you just you know realize how fly you are you realize how bomb you are right and now you're finally starting to blossom and bloom into the person that you always have been meant to be because you came to this realization then you stepped into your power and gained that strength that you needed to gain okay we got two of wands, so yep, y'all starting off on a new path, something new. And the fool, what did I just say? Something new. So some of y'all, this is the sign to maybe take the leap of faith towards going towards love, I'm, fear, I'm hearing. Or um, just take the leap of faith towards anything. I'm really getting this was a connection that was holding y'all back in the past. And you, look, you let go of it, you victorious. And you know, now it's really time to, you know, take the leaps of faith, make the changes that you want to make to bring the things that you want into your life. But just know that there is love manifesting soon. We got listen to your intuition and it is up to you, okay? So maybe you guys could have been, you know, getting intuitive nudges about something. And, you know, it's up to you if you want to take action, okay? This is saying like the leap of faith. It's like everything that you want has been set up for you, right? And so all you got to do is take the leap of faith. But, you know, it's up to you. Like when you decide to do, you know, what you need to do, what you got to do. I'm hearing you guys may even have trouble with procrastinating. So, you know, it's up to you. Your blessings have manifested behind the scene. You are going to be victorious. But when you're ready to take a leap of faith and fully go after the things that you want, that's up to you, okay? But you guys have in intimate potential, okay? It's time to really look in the mirror and acknowledge your greatness, okay? The times of mental c conflict and chaos is over. But you just got to realize, like, you know how wonderful and how amazing and how beautiful you guys are, okay? We get music. So some of you guys could be getting signs through music. I'm seeing with this being over, listen to your intuition. Uh, we got transformation. So don't block your transformation, okay? Let the things that you want to come into your life, you know, come into your life. Make the, make the changes and become the person who you need to be to get the things that you want, okay? We got maybe here. I feel like this is about you guys just questioning yourself. Stop questioning yourself. It's time to, you know, take leaps of faith, be the fool, go after the thing that you want, okay? And then we got pose, okay? So, <laughs> with pose here, yeah, I'm just saying that, you know, it's okay to relax sometimes. It's okay to ease into the things that you want or the things that you want to attract, I'm feeling like. Or maybe you guys like to model or, oh, my toe is all in the frame, honey. Maybe you guys like to model or, yeah, take the high resonance with Pose here. But I feel like um, the spotlight is going to be on you soon with something. Like the victory battle of a Pose. Yeah, you about, guys about to make an achievement very soon. Okay, so just keep working. Our last card, we got two of Michael. It will all be better if you just make a decision over analyzing a problem find a compromise so yeah some of y'all y'all thinking too hard about something y'all need to make a decision like quick before the universe make it for you this is saying as soon as you make that decision the skills are going to balance out in the things that you want to you it's going to come to you but maybe you guys are resisting change in some way and you guys need to you know invite the positive change into your life because it's kind of like i'm feeling like they they look the same so you might be going back and forth or going at war with yourself about something and it's saying that you know don't block your transformation. You need to make this decision. You need to figure out what path you're going to go down. You know, you, like, you know what path. You've been listening to um, your intuition, or you need to listen to your intuition. But for some of y'all, y'all could get signs through music. And it's telling you to follow your intuition about the signs you've been getting. Okay? So, yeah, that's y'all messages for the week. If you liked that video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.